Meanwhile, over at gate C8, Gina and Sue Lee are still looking for one seat to get Mark and Veronica to that wedding in New York. You need one seat here at the podium at C8. If you are interested and could help us out, please come see us. Thank you. Right you now, I'm just volunteer? hoping that somebody volunteers. If not, we'll have to involve him, and I will put a priority standby for the other flights. Yeah, we have a standby passenger on board the aircraft. When you're standby through a city that's overbooked, we, we have the right to pull you off the aircraft. So that's what we're going to do. We're just getting uh, Moses is the last name. <laughs> Justin Moses. Yeah, so we can put you on the flight. <laughs> I do anything to get to Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, there's always oversell situations. Usually something comes through, so hopefully it seems good. Otherwise, we would have gotten some money. Right? Yeah. yeah. Some money. Thanks to Gina, Mark will make the wedding. Hey, so I'll take a seat, I guess. But will the pulled standby customer, Justin Moses, be quite so grateful? At BWI, Gina is getting to regret her decision to arrange a seat for the wedding guest in place of standby passenger Justin Moses. His uh, wife's having a baby here. She's hooked up to all the monitors and, and everything's kind of status quo and they're trying to hold her off for as long as they can. Alright, I love it. Thanks. Yeah, bye. Quicker to run a car and drive. He could be there in three hours. He might have to do that. See, the thing is moving forward. She's dilated and and uh, faced and all that good stuff. So she's uh, she's uh, getting a morphine threat and some other things are going on and uh, looks like it's going to happen. Over at BWI, Justin, the father-to-be, watches and waits. Ladies and gentlemen, this does serve as your final check-in opportunity for Buzz Jones. 1034 on time, 435 to 4. You're going to ice up Long Island. Thank you. I still am, Mr. McGriff. He decides to consider his options. Hey, what do you think the chances of me getting out of it? I'm trying to decide if I should rent a car and drive up or not. Let's, let's put it this way. It's everything going to Long Island tonight is overbooked by at least 15, 20 people. Okay. And it's pretty slim. So, if I were you, I would run the car. All right. All right. All right. Thanks. Good luck, man. Yeah, thanks. You bet. You're going to drive, you know? Got to get there. So. It's usually takes like on a Friday, God, it'll take like seven hours. Oh, well, that's true. Line. I forgot you went to New York on a Friday night. Justin cuts his losses and hits the road. Everything um, is heavenly overbooked tonight to Islet, so the chances weren't that good. So if I could have got him out tonight, I would have. In the car, halfway to New York, Justin gets a call from the hustle to inform him that he's the father of a healthy baby boy.